Hello and welcome to the agenda. I am Ajay Kaul. In this program today we will discuss the cause and solution for alarming pollution levels in the national capital region. As the winter approaches, the air quality in Delhi and adjoining areas has started dipping sharply. It is now an annual feature, but no solution has been found to this problem. What complicates the situation further this time is the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, which, like pollution, also affects the respiratory system of a human being. So does this make the situation more serious this year? We will seek answer to this and related questions in the agenda today. We have with us Dr. M. Bali, Senior Consultant Internal Medicine at Sir Gangaram Hospital and Mr. Vivek Chattopadhyay, Senior Program Manager of Air Pollution Control Unit of Center for Science and Environment. But before we begin our conversation, let us have a look at this small report. The coming months for those in Delhi and Sierra region are going to be extremely difficult thanks to the rising pollution at a time when coronavirus continues. The deteriorating air quality is dangerous news for the people as both pollution and coronavirus affect the respiratory system. Therefore, it's going to be double attack. Experts warn that high levels of air pollution can aggravate the COVID-19 pandemic during the winter months when the air density remains high. Yesterday morning, the AQI had hit very poor levels, which was the worst since February. The last time Delhi's air quality hit such poor levels was on February the 26th. AQI between 51 and 100, it is satisfactory. And between 101 and 200, it is moderate. Between 201 and 301 to 400, very poor. And 401 to 500 severe. Increasing stubble burning in Delhi's neighboring states like Haryana, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh is believed to be a major contributor to pollution. Low temperatures and stagnant winds allow accumulation of pollutants near the ground affecting air quality. The Delhi government has launched a major anti-air pollution campaign, Yud Pradushan Ke Virud, which is being led by Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and Environment Minister Gopal Rai. A green war room with a 100-member expert team has been set up at the Delhi Secretary to monitor the steps being taken to deal with high levels of air pollution in winters. Starting Thursday, stricter measures to fight air pollution will also come into force in Delhi and its neighborhood as part of the Graded Response Action Plan, which was first implemented in Delhi NCR in 2017. But concrete action is missing, even though air pollution in Delhi NCR is an annual affair now. Bureau Report. Now, let's welcome our guests, uh, Dr. Bali and Mr. Chattopadhyay. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. My first question is to Mr. Chattopadhyay. As you are aware that the pollution is increasing and air quality is decreasing sharply as we approach in winter, what is your view on this? The question is, when the character of pain changes in the tank and the atmospheric ventilation capacity, uh, reduces the boundary layer uh, get close to the ground. And if you look at the wind speed data, then you find that it is less than 10 kilometers per hour. So, uh, that, whatever pollution is happening, it is accumulating close to the ground and it is affecting people. And now, uh, there is concern of the local pollution, major the major industrial lab, it has uh, groups of vehicles, uh, it has uh, uh, breaking, uh, uh, the garbage problem of, we have the problem of old vehicles, 
so many highways pass through it. So it's a multiple problem here. And as to that, uh, crop residue something that happens in Punjab, Punjana, it's a uh, sometimes a bit deadly. But right now, the average of the subscriber yesterday it was about two percent. So 87 percent of the population coming from local sources. So I think it's a duty uh, of the authorities to look into this and uh, action on ground. And uh, a lot of plans and policies have been made. But how is the time for implementing? Otherwise, again, we will have the same thing in the spot that we did not touch here. And it's a problem in forest life. And you very well know that when there is air pollution, it weakens the lungs. Our system, our immune system is overloaded. Uh, pollution, uh, right? And on top of that, coronavirus, that is a cancer. And the studies are showing that more infection. So I think uh, it's a concern that we have to take care of during this winter. Okay, Dr. Bali, I want to ask you, as I mentioned earlier, coronavirus is already there. Now we have this air pollution drop, I mean increasing. So is the situation becoming more serious? Yeah, it's a double uh, poison. Uh, one is virus and virus rides on the particulate matter. The particulate matter is suspended as you have shown apart from particulate matter. There are gases also, poisonous gases. So all these things add on. They add on and uh, they make the air vulnerable to damage uh, the respiratory system. And this damage, as very rightly said, respiratory system starts from the course in the base of the lung and is the blood of the human body, there's what was showing sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and particle matter 2.5, particle matter 10. And we have not yet talked one particulate matter PM1. And this comes from the tires of the cars and buses. At least the tires of the aircrafts are not doing this particulate matter one these days. So we are at a marginal but as you write and there are three components of this pollution. What is fall in the temperature? Because of the fall in temperature, the air density increases, number one. And number two is the particulate matter increases because of the air velocity also gets decreased. And number three, we produce, human beings produce the most of it by burning, that prali burning, prali burning, and despite being told every year, we do not stop from doing this menace. And educated farmers even we do the same thing because it is cheaper to them to dispose of the residual crop portion and they burn it and they forget after burning it, the air becomes polluted and so many cities become polluted. We were seeing the Himalayas during lockdown from Jalandhar. Everybody had witnessed this video that the air quality became clear, the ozone hole became intact, and the Ganges water became very pure. And we were breathing nicely during lockdown. So this proves that the pollution is a man-made disaster, and we are responsible for it. So if we, WE, we are responsible for it, it becomes, I. if I will not do it, so every I will become V. So if I will not do it, the other will not do it, so then we will be free from pollution. This is most important for all of us. And whatever Indian Agriculture Research Institute has made, that capsule which is being talked, it has not yet become popular about the Parali burning. They have made some capsule formula right. about pollution. So it has not yet come in the practical use, but we are seeing the cases of Prali burning, which is very sad, very, very sad, dukhi baat hai, very sad thing. And at the top of it, Corona is riding on these particles. 
वाहन प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं हम कोरोना को बाय एडिंग द पार्टिकल्स इनटू द एयर राइट सो मिस्टर चतुर्पाध्याय वी नो एज डॉक्टर साहब वाज मेंशनिंग जस्ट नाउ स्टेबल बर्निंग इज अ मेजर कॉज एंड ऑफ कोर्स देन व्हीकुलर पोल्यूशन इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन ऑल दोस एड अप and we know it is annual affair every year we have to see this problem and every year we know it but there is no solution why there is a comprehensive action plan prepared uh, and acted on uh, by the supreme court so they have recommended to implement it and also it has been uh, authorized by the ministry of uh, Standard pollution control board has to coordinate and implement all the pollution control efforts across the state in the NFCR. At the same time, we have banned pollution control authority as the Supreme Court monitoring company. It monitors the emergency response system. But why? What is that? I am saying that all of the plans and uh, uh, I say the. Uh, In terms of policy, we have totally failed in terms of implementation, preparedness before this winter happens. So uh, it is very good that solutions are coming now, but this should have been come much earlier. Because of lakhs and lakhs of farmers, Punjab, Haryana, and other solutions, they need machine, and probably many farmers like Bello. Uh, buy the machines to provide the machines. Tell them that don't buy it. Uh, it affects your soil fertility. To use more pesticides and fertilizers, which contaminates the ground water. And also there is a major thing that talks about the policy of the giving uh, is the intent over and above the minimum price of the uh, 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 rice. Happens. This these are water is in the water. So generally, rice is grown in states where there is enough natural water. What must be doing because of the problem? Okay, I think your I think your audio is not clear. Maybe I'll go go to Doctor Bali. Doctor Bali, as we okay. talked about this stubble burning, it's a annual affair. We all know that stubble will be burnt, and farmers have no other option to do it. I mean, small farmers, and we are not providing. I mean, the government is not providing them solutions and options how to address this problem. Do you think it's all? I mean, uh, it's it's being taken casually, and no serious effort is being made. Even though, although Supreme Court has been monitoring and other things. Paul Saab, we are not sensitive for these issues. Every year for two three months, sensitive people, wise people like you and me talk about it. people listen about it and then after 2 3 months the matter is over but now it is the time to act we cannot survive the world cannot survive in pollution because very little time is left the clock is ticking already the world is watching and there is disaster to happen very soon maybe our generation will die but the next generation will not be able to breathe properly so what is happening is that we are creating a milieu dirty milieu without a political will or with a political will i don't know there are conferences there are people speaking but at the same time we are seeing glaciers are melting the global warming is taking place and now internationally we are seeing so many countries the trees are burning the jungles are burning there are wild fires which are not being prevented it's so huge now in countries like uh, i saw yesterday one african country one gulf country is on fire what is it it never happened so it is all man made disaster which we are adding and if we are breathing we are breathing you and me 
and at the top of it, our innocent children are breathing. What the stubble they are throwing, burning right. coal, burning carbon, gases, carbon monoxide. The political will come as we have made a tower. Yesterday I saw a news, there was a tower which they were showing, but that is too small. But that is, I think that tower and etc. are, I think they are knee-jerk reactions. They are symbolic. Yeah, There yeah, is no yeah. concrete my action. My son said, my son is very young. He said, Papa, this is too small. It can't work. Because he knew what other countries made so huge. So the requirement is huge. The only thing which we can do is we produce less pollution and there will be no need of tower. Previously, when we were children, there were no towers. We were also using coal, but the coal is not being used now. So that component is improved. So we can have a will, political will, which is there, of course, but it's not, people are not listening. So the pollution is increasing. And since it happens every year, we do hear sermons and we go back home and sleep. But in doing so, what medically I am seeing over 50 years, the cancer incidence in males and females has become equal. Previously, it used to be one-third in the females and two-thirds in the males. Now, 50% females and 50% males are having lung cancer. Without smoking, people are having lung cancer because we are smoking these double burning. We are smoking PM1. PM 2.5, the children are smoking, innocent children are smoking, they have no fault of theirs. Everybody is smoking without being a smoker. So this thing has to stop. We have to educate ourselves, <clears throat> we have to change our habits, we have to use less fossil fuels, fossil fuels, the main contributor. And the tragedy is the advanced developed countries who make a lot of noise, don't burn fossil fuels. They are the biggest contributors to this. Right. So this is a paradox. So we have to really educate ourselves and we have to learn from the deaths which are taking place throughout the world. And the corona will increase, corona will increase during winter and due to pollution there will be more death. Our health minister, Dr. Harshavardhan, has already warned last week and repeatedly everybody has been sensitized. ICMR, Planning Commission, Niti Aayog, you must say, Niti Aayog, Ministry of Health, so Environment Ministry, they have all warned. So it is for us, they have kept ball in our court, it is for us to follow. Okay, Mr. Chattopadhyay, you heard Dr. Wali, this, how serious the situation is medically. But as he mentioned that the will is not there. You may have, you may hear a lot of noise and talk, but action on the ground is missing. What do you say on that? Action on the ground is happening. I wouldn't say it is totally missing, but it is not adequate. And it is highly inadequate, I would say. First thing the government of India should do, along with the state, that they should declare Delhi and NCR is a single air quality management zone. Which is what happens, Delhi has suffered rules. Uh, Delhi has banned coal and uh, fuel oil and very other red gear fuel. Only clean fuel can be used in the vehicle. But the same norm is not equally implemented uh, in the yeah, region. Second thing I would say, uh, we have very poor connectivity with public transport across Asia. People are dependent on personal vehicles and uh, 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 also uh, rapid uh, rail transit is going to happen. In Mera to Alpha, that will take time. But in the meantime, we have to bring in buses. And government has a total failure in bringing in the buses. Delhi's bus number requirement is 11,000, 10,000 till uh, 2001. But this is 2020. We haven't got, got all the buses. We need to increase our fleet a lot. At the same time, all the NCR government, uh, like UP Haryana, uh, Uttar Pradesh has to come to an agreement with the Delhi that they will run uh, uh, bus services, NCR buses. 
and that has to be individually. So the defense is on personal vehicles, motorcycles, radio is gone. Last thing I would like to say is the rampant garbage burning happens. Uh, garbage management, mismanagement is a major problem in the cities, and also the government is trying to uh, implement uh, uh, segregation at the home of the wet and uh, dry wells. But still, you would uh, find that in many places garbage is burned, and the issue is no fire brigade is called. Even if the police is there nearby, they don't detect uh, the smoke burning. It is a problem. It is a crime. So we have considered pollution as crime. I would say crime, but similar to crime, it is affecting our health and people are dying. So I think our administration, our government, our political will has to be very high. India is. Saying that we are going to be a trillion, uh, five trillion dollar economy, so can the uh, uh, foreign dignitaries come to India, uh, the head of the state or the other people, they find he has polluted, highly polluted, and always recommend that they be advanced. So uh, it is a shame that we are developing without clean air, and people are uh, uh, bearing the brunt. Already 10,000 to 30,000 people die every year because of air pollution in Delhi. All India figures are 1.2 1. million people dying because of air pollution. Uh, there is a huge shortage of clean fuels and uh, rural households and other places. Why government is, or the government is providing those well program, but why they are not ensuring that each and every household has plenty to a supply of clean energy? <laughs> I think these are our priorities, and we can make a change. Uh, like the way China, uh, before the Olympics of 2008, was equally polluted. But they have first, they made efforts. Uh, some cities have shown very good results, many cities. So I think we have to link development with clean air, clean water, and other aspects. That is the goal, and the plan which has been made and goes by the force. And those by the NDP, and those by the Ministry of Environment and Forest, Central Pollution Control Board, the State Pollution Control Board, all the government machinery has been implemented. Police has to be on the ground when they see one industry, uh, chimneys, uh, uh, it's like emitting very high black smoke. This should be, uh, that should be considered as a crime. There are, there are unauthorized industries. Uh, in non-confirming areas, how they are operating, why the government is not doing the service, it is all in the hands of the government. So, so I think as you, that, as you, uh, Mr. Chattopadhyay, uh, uh, in authority lacking, and I would say that uh, it has to happen with so a very strong political will. Then only the state will change. Then only the city uh, of Delhi uh, will have to decide which we saw during the lockdown. As you mentioned that political will is lacking, we know, as you mentioned, that we know it for years, that stubble burning is a major issue, major problem, major contributor. I would say, I would say stubble burning is not a major issue. Their contribution to pollution load in Delhi is very minuscule. It happens only for a few days or weeks. Uh, that leads to a very high smog. Definitely it's a problem, but its contribution never goes beyond 40-60%. For the few days, otherwise it remains within 10 percent, almost. So we have many local reasons also. The government should not blame the entire thing on Punjab. Definitely, Punjab is too better. But the entire problem of Delhi based pollution is not parali burning in Punjab because parali burning happens only for 10 to 15 days. But the entire winter remains polluted. You uh, start from October, November, December, January, February, you will find so many critical and severe days, uh, unhealthy days, uh, to breathe the air. Why that is happening? When the parali burning is not happening. Definitely, we are lacking in our uh, own air quality management. We are not acknowledging the problem, and we are not dealing with the problem. And the blame game definitely for the public health should not happen, I would say. Okay, Dr. Bali, as he, uh, Mr. Chattopadhyay also mentioned that we are not doing what we should be doing. Actually, our governments also wake up when it, I mean, this, the problem arises every year, isn't it? Till then, everybody is asleep. Nobody bothers that this problem is, is an annual affair. 
So steps should be taken in advance, isn't it? Yeah, actually, at international level, things are being decided. But when it comes to implementation, there has to be public awareness. I fully agree with uh, Mr. Chalpadhyay that uh, we lack as many levels. You saw that young girl, Greta Thunberg, she has been part of Nobel Prize now. But what has happened in the field? What has happened in reality? We just witnessed a young girl coming up, standing for pollution, atten attention were drawn, and everybody could know that this young girl is fighting for pollution. But what actually changed? Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Things are becoming worse. The glaciers are melting. The global warming is taking place. So it is my duty to keep my country clean, to keep my country pollution free, not to burn the coal, not to burn the fossil fuel, drive as less as I can. Okay, Doctor, uh, Doctor Valli, our time is running yeah. out. One, uh, yeah. yeah, so it's our duty to stop pollution. Yeah, last comments. Uh, what, what precautions would you suggest to the people for this period? The unsettling precaution is that we should educate ourselves that we should not use fossil fuels more. We should follow the guidelines and the government should also do something to remove the pollution at concrete level. No, I mean, the, I mean suggestions for people like us who don't, who don't, uh, don't burn fossil fuels. Don't come out till the things are not normal. Don't expose yourself. Cover your face. For corona, for pollution, both cover your face and don't come out in the pollution. Don't bring children out. Don't bring infants out. And that is what we can do now. It's an emergency. Right. It's an emergency. Pollution, when it will come in the air, it will become emergency. So we have to behave like in emergency. So this is what is happening. So we have to gear up for the emergency. Uh, but I yes. thank you both of you for participating in this debate. Maybe we'll have further debates on this issue in future. Thank you. This is all in the agenda today. Thanks for watching. I will be back with another important topic tomorrow. Till then, goodbye.